the country and Justin Whitehead has no intention of going down the rankings. Like Herman Anne Purcell, Whitehead has his eyes on just one prize. He hasn't fought for almost 12 months and is coming off a loss. None of this is bothering Justin Whitehead ahead of his battle with hometown hero, the Hermanator. Uh, just had a little bit of a break. Um, look, to be honest, we uh, had lost our last fight, so um, I went just back to the drawing board. I've got my own business, so we're working and just stayed fit and waited for the next option. The last man Whitehead fought was Julius Long, who has recently gone on to win a regional title. It was his split decision win over Solomon Hamono that turned the most heads. Again, uh, he sort of hurt me a few times and he didn't finish the uh, job. My boxing was effective and uh, he got a broken nose throughout the bout. And I think all, all those factors all sort of play part over a, a long bout. It's been a long time between fights, but Whitehead's keen to wrap the Australian title around his waist for the second time. Yes, yeah, certainly. Look, and that's uh, the opportunity I've been given to come up here and fight Herman and uh, that's the object at the end of the day. Whitehead isn't taking his opponent lightly, but he has come to town with one clean sheet that he doesn't plan on losing. I haven't been stopped, I don't plan on being stopped, so uh, we'll see how, how it plays out. Either way, come Saturday night, one man will emerge victorious and will be handed an opportunity to fight Will Nazio for the Australian heavyweight title. Kieran Wagstaff, Win News. After